Hello, welcome to CFA Level 2. This is Nick at Quartic with 10 topics in 10 weeks. This week, we're looking at financial reporting and analysis. It's a fairly big, pretty detailed area, 10 to 15%, which means 12 to 18 questions in your exam. This is an area that divides the accountants and non-accountants amongst us. If you've got an accounting background, this is much more straightforward. If you really struggled with FRA at level one, you're going to need to put a lot of time into it this year as well. We have six readings. The first three are bigger, more complex than the others. So we start off with intercorporate investments, this is where one company buys shares in another company. It may be a relatively small number of shares called a financial asset. It may be an associate company. It may be a controlling stake, in which case we're going to be doing a full consolidation. So we look at these methods. We look at how the financial statements are affected. And this is really the whole flavor of level two accounting. Uh, at level one, we looked at specific numbers, so long-lived assets and inventories and things. Here, we look at the big picture. So that if one company buys another company, what is the impact on the overall financial statements? We then move into employee compensation. This is pensions, pensions and other post-retirement benefits. It's pretty complex. Although it is mechanical once you've done it a few times, the first time you see this, it's quite challenging. We look at different rules under IFRS and US GAAP. You need to be familiar with both of them. How the balance sheet works, which is relatively straightforward. How the income statement and OCI, other comprehensive income work, which is way more complex. We see all sorts of strange things going on, especially with under US GAAP. You see some amortization calculations that are not particularly intuitive. Uh, and so that's what we do. we do. We go through worked examples and through that, hopefully, you can become familiar with how this reading works. The third reading is multinational operations. One company owns Shell, owns a subsidiary that reports in a different currency. How do you translate that currency into the parent company's reporting currency. We see two methods, the current method and the temporal method. And although they look a bit fiddly to start with, with a bit of practice, they do become fairly straightforward and mechanical. We've covered the three most complex areas. The other three readings are generally slightly easier. Analysis of financial institutions. Here we're looking at banks, different types of banks and different types of insurance companies. Uh, we use what's called the camels approach to do the analysis. A lot of this is straightforward. You need to learn a few bits, but as you work through examples, you'll find that logically you can see how to do different calculations within this reading. Into the second study session, uh, evaluating quality of financial reports. You covered some of this at level one. This is a big extension. The quality of earnings, the quality of reporting. We look at various case studies in terms of what can go wrong, what management do wrong, how management try to hide certain things. Uh, and of course, the six part spectrum that we saw at level one, ranging, we're looking at the quality of of reporting and earnings from something that's absolutely amazing to something that is downright fraudulent. Uh, and finally, integration of financial statement analysis techniques. This is a rough framework, how we can go about creating this framework for analyzing different companies. And we go through an example, it uses the company Nestle in the, uh, in the curriculum. Uh, what sort of steps do we take when analyzing it? So it breaks down the financial statements, it breaks down the methods of analyzing it. Nothing much new to the curriculum there, but if you've got the knowledge from the other readings, then those, that last reading is really applying it to different scenarios. That's the accounting section. It is challenging. You do need to spend time on this. Uh, but once you've got those techniques, you'll find that questions are often much more straightforward.